Hello everyone, this is Booty Bear and I'm back today with a different video. I'm gonna try and show off some uh, chivalry tactics. Basically the way I like to play is I like to go knight because uh, they're very heavy armor. And I use the longest sword which is the first sword, followed by the Norse one-handed and a kite shield for best defense. You don't really lose that much speed using the kite shield so there's no point not using it. Shit for this guy. It's obvious how you'd go against this guy, you would just approach, you shield up and wait for him to fag out. There he is, what's he doing? Uh, the, normally the tactic I play when I'm playing this game is I'll stay back and wait for them to miss an attack, which is in my range, and then I can lunge in with a stab like that. That works much better with like big two hand against big two hander players. There we go. You have to play a little dance and then you just suddenly jump out and with a lunge forward. And you can combat that into a into a slash if you want, like I did. And that usually works against shit classes with when you like knives like that. No, this guy's using a. Uh, Stick. I don't like sticks. In fact, I haven't really gone against a stick before. So we'll see how this goes. I'll employ my normal tactic. I'm staying back, waiting for them to miss, and then going in. Oh, he hit me with a stick. Another tactic is just if we've clutched shit classes against like this. Is what you can against shit classes like that, what you can do is because they haven't got a shield, you can just run at them. Block, attack, block, attack, block, attack, and try and pull your weight around with the camera. That's an effective way of getting swings in fast that they can't actually block. It's why I don't usually like playing any class that doesn't have a shield because they're really just clearly at a disadvantage even if sometimes you can still go for shields which is kind of annoying. I want to see an I want to see an example of a two-handed sword. I prob Oh god, it's the it's this guy. Well, he's playing a archer, which is like an awful idea in duel because I'm too shot him no matter what. So all you have to do is get in the face because archer is useless at close range. I don't even know why he would want to play that class. What's he doing? Ow! Shit, bastard! There we go. Well, I think mostly the, what the tactics of playing this game is just learning timing. So basically if you can see that if you're using a faster weapon than them you can just learn the wind ups and get in before they can react. Of course it doesn't work 100% of the time but it's good. And you can just kill people doing that. Like This game's pretty easy against shit players. There is a uh, there is a layer of tactics to it, which I won't deny. Really, and there's different play styles, which some of which counter me, like I really hate going against I really hate playing against two-handed swordsmen, particularly of the the, uh, like the charging class they're called. I hate playing against vanguards with two with zweihanders who spam faints a lot because that's really hard to predict. 
and then they can just suddenly switch into kicks and it's really, really strong tactic. I usually won't use a long sword in this, I know that they've got an even sl long, uh, a, a slightly shorter, more sluggish weapon, like that's just a reserve. Like, I use a, my primary as a reserve weapon. Like this guy, I can use it against this guy, it's perfect. So he, he's got a big long big weapon, he's miss, and then he can go in. I, I missed that time, but it, the, the principle works all the same. But he's shitting his pants now, I don't know what he's doing to be honest. Oh, I'm lagging. That's always, that's always enjoyable. It probably just wear off by the time I've caught up to him anyway. Oh, what's this guy doing? Switch to his shield because I don't know what he's up to. I could probably win against this guy just by being fast, to be honest. Like, he clearly doesn't know what he's doing. Um. Like, I don't know what he was doing then. Just giving me a free round win like a noob. Right, it's a sun shield guy that he can use long swords on this these guys, but I think it's more effective just to play like this. But he got me because he got the initial strikes in, like that's obvious. Right, so he's changed his he's changed his play style. So I'm gonna change mine. What's he doing? Like my way to deal with this is just stay back. What's he doing? He's a very interesting individual, this guy. Like you can push them away just by flailing once you've got an initial strike in because they don't want to take another. Like, why is he on the. Why is he back foot? Is he doing my tactic on me? It's not gonna work, bro. There we go. Like, also another tactic, another thing to keep in mind is once you, once you've hit them once, if you wait like half a second and then click again, chances are they'll think they they can have a chance to go in for an attack. So you'll rather hit the shield or that you'll hit their wand up, and if you hit the wand up, they flinch and take damage. So that's that's something also to nurse. This guy's using the second great sword, which is, I think, slightly faster. Yeah, I lost that because I switched weapons. He was in my face, I couldn't really. I don't really know what to do. I probably should have just kicked him and switched. But no, so I know he's, he's got a longer. I know he's got a faster, a faster great sword than me. So I'm going to switch to Sun Shield. He's got his North Sword out. Whoa, that was weird. He's hitting me round my shield, which is. A lot of this game's about comboing because people think they can get another strike in if and you just do two, then you're more likely to just do extra damage to them. That's something I've really noticed. Right, he's gonna try something new. Right, he's using the range, he's got on me. Of course, since I've got a shield, I actually, yeah. since I've got a shield, I can always counter that. But he's going to try kick. 
Now, if you see someone kicking, just don't block. All you have to do to, to stop a kick is not block. This we're going around my shield again. Maybe that's the end of that. So, there's a few tips for uh, how I play Chivalry at least. I know there's other tactics and methods, but I've the reason I play that class more than any other and that loadout is because it's very effective at dealing with multiple different classes. Like, I think I, it can handle uh, about 85% of the different loadouts if played well. From what I can tell, or, or I'm just generally better, I'm not sure, but fr from the impression I'm getting, you can handle most loadouts with it. So that's everything for now. So, um, if you t um, comment on the video and shit, uh, tell me what you think. Like, I, I know this video isn't particularly formal or well put together, but it was just something I'm throwing out there because, quite frankly, I can't be bothered to edit them or anything, and I, I feel like we're putting out new content. So, tell me what you think. Uh,